out, beautiful people. It's your girl, the one and only Lady J on your screen today. And today we are going to be talking about bullies and how to handle certain situations. And I'm saying this because um, the other day I got my first hate comment on YouTube and I actually found it very funny to be honest with you. Um, the comment was, I don't remember the girl's name, and even if I did, I would not put that up there because this is in no way, shape, or form to bash back at that person, but this is just to show people how to handle certain situations. Um, so basically what the, 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 the uh, message was under my, when I got my Dave pierced. So it was under that video. And I said in that video, I said, I just got my Dave Pierce. I'm so happy with it. I want to tell you guys where I got it from, but I don't want you guys to know around the area that I live in. So any new YouTuber wouldn't want people just knowing the area that they live in. Any just YouTuber in general wouldn't want to know, wouldn't want you guys to know the area that we live in. So the comment that I got under that was, don't mean to sound it was like hey don't mean to sound hate sound like a hater or anything but you only have 32 subscribers nobody cares what you live and then they put the little punching emoji or whatever you know what i'm saying and then they put the laughing emoji and you know i looked at that comment and i was like that wasn't necessarily towards you know you okay it's towards everybody Okay, and what that person doesn't realize is, regardless of if you are a subscriber or not, if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, if you're watching this video and you are a subscriber, there are people out there that do not have your best interests at heart, okay? There are people out there, there are serial killers out there, there are rapists, murderers, kidnappers, all stalkers, okay, pedophiles, okay? There are people out there that do not have your best interests at heart. I am a small person. I am 5'3", I am 118 pounds, and I'm just a little black girl, okay? Now, there have been situations where I've had to, like, change my phone number because some creepy stuff was happening, some random person was texting me and I didn't know who it was and they wouldn't tell me. So that video wasn't because I didn't want to tell my subscribers. It was because I need to secure my safety, okay? And that's that's what I, that's exactly why I found the video pretty funny because it's like, yeah, none of my subscribers may care what I, where I live because... Most of the subscribers that I have, I know, and I've met them before. I've seen them in the mall before. And the people that are subscribed that I don't know, I don't know them. So it's like, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they do for a living. I don't know their record. I don't know anything about them. That's simply just because I need to protect myself. Being on the internet, yes, I know I'm going to get some hate comments. I really, go I could care less. So if you feel like leaving any, you're wasting your time. Okay, so when I come to that, now I'm going to tie into like the bullying thing, but I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, like, I just found it really funny um, that, you know, that person didn't think before you speak. Me personally, I'm a person, I used to not think before I spoke, and uh, to this day I still have a problem doing it. I can be a very blunt person at times, but um, I definitely don't sugarcoat anything. And so... I just found that funny because it's like you're leaving comments saying that nobody cares where I live but you're not thinking about the pedophiles and the crazy people out there. And you know, I just thought it was funny how that person said that because they didn't think about other people other than the subscribers that I do have. Yes, I only have 32 subscribers, honey, but you gotta speak things into the future, okay? I may only have 32 now, but I may have 32,000 by next year, okay? Don't play. Okay, I'm going to make it. You got to speak things into the future. You got to speak positive of yourself. And when it comes to bullies, 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 okay? Now, I know this sounds real childish. Oh, he's bullying, pe bullying me. No, bullying is a real thing. I've been bullied before, okay? And it is not a fun thing. I've never been bullied like super, super crazy. Um... It's, it's just, bullying is not a nice thing. Bullying is not tolerable, okay? And if people are going to be bullying each other in my comments, you will get blocked and deleted. I just wanted to let you know that. But uh, when it comes to bullies in real life, bullies at school and things like that, you just gotta turn the other cheek. And that's something that I personally struggle with. And yes, it is easier said than done. But even my mom has to tell me to this day, like when people are bothering me or people are being mean to me, 
Like, I'm quick to fire back sometimes, but I'm also not a petty person. So it's like, my mom has to tell me, like, when I used to get bullied and stuff like that, she was, she'd always tell me never to throw the first punch. And I never did. Um, and I've never been in a fight. And so, but yes, there have been people that wanted to fight me before. I remember one of my best friend's ex-girlfriends wanted to fight me. One of my ex-boyfriend's sister wanted to fight me because I didn't want to kiss him. It was just stupid. Just stupid things like that. And those are what you call bullies. I've had people call me a slut, a skank, a whore, a hoe, okay? Did it get to me at that time? Yeah. But... At the end of the day, you have to realize, you know who, as long as you know who you are, you stay true to yourself, you know who God is, and God knows who you are, obviously, I mean, nothing else really matters, and it took me a while for that to process, because that stuff used to really get to me, and people would call me those things, because at where I went to school at, females were so petty, and I hung out with a group of 12 guys straight up like that those were like my brothers to this day they're all in college now and some are in the military and those are still like my brothers I know if I needed something I could call them and they would be there for me but when it comes to bullies and people calling you things they don't know you from a can of paint and they're probably only putting you down because somebody else done put them down so they really need to take up their own problems with themselves and with God okay so I just wanted to put that out there real quick um, dealing with bullies, like I said, that is not a tolerable thing. And don't ever let any of that slip under your chin or over your head, okay? Now, something say, if something is directed towards you, sometimes, just depending on what it says, what that person says or what they do, you just gotta let it like a duck and let its water rolling off your back, whatever the phrase is. I forgot what my mom used to tell me. But... It, you just got to let some of those things go. And I'm still figuring this whole thing out myself. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not coming at you as like a professional. You need to do this, this, and this. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I just wanted to make this video short, sweet, and simple. I just wanted to let you guys know that. But if you guys ever need somebody to talk to, hit up my Twitter. You know what I'm saying? DM me. I'm always going to be there for you guys, okay? And so I just want to let you guys know that just don't tolerate any bullies. And if you see somebody else being bullied, stand up for what you believe in, okay? I've become a person I, I, that I never thought that I would become into. Well, I'm not going to say I never became into it, never thought that I would become into this person, but I never, I thought that I would be such a strong opinion person. So, like, there will be situations where I know it's not my place to say something, but if I feel like I can help the situation, I'm not going to stop until I do help the situation. And when I end up helping out the situation, it starts to feel like it's my place to say something. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying step out your boundaries because it's like, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you just have to, you have to stand up for what you believe in. Like, if one of your friends, one of your distant, well, say you had a friend. Okay, say you had a friend, and you guys used to be best friends, but um, in school you had all your classes together, and the next year you don't have all your classes together, you may only have one class together, you guys start to fall off or whatever. If that person is being bullied, you guys are still friends, okay? You need to let that person know that you will always be there for them, okay? So you need to tell that person, you need to ad advise that person to do something about it, and you need to stand up for them also. If they look hopeless and if they look like they're not going to stand up for themselves, you need to stand up for them. Don't let that stuff roll off your shoulder. If you see, if you can do something about it, do something about it. I mean, like, if, if, if it's like, it's like, it's like situations like, um, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just certain situations just really get under my skin where people can do more about it and they don't. And I'm one to be talking because there have been situations where I could have done more about something to fix something, and I didn't. But like I said, I'm not perfect, and I'm still trying to work this thing out myself. But based off of some of the experiences that I have had, this is what I have learned. And I'm just telling you firsthand, raw and true. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Stand up for what you believe in, and I promise you, good karma will come towards your way. Okay? None of that stuff goes unforeseen by him. All right, I just want to let you guys know that uh, this video is already 10 minutes long. I didn't want that to happen, but I'm going to just leave it there. Deuces, Lady J out.